Hey, what's going on? It's Brandon here. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is to show you how to go live to your profile inside of Facebook. So let's get into it. So I've already connected to Facebook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the schedule button. From here, we're going to choose the time that we want to go live. So let's say Friday, and I'm going to go ahead and say 10 a.m. for this example. Right now, by default, show schedule notification is turned on. And this basically will show everyone in your news feed that you're planning on going live. Now, this might be something that you're wanting to do, or you might want to turn it off. Uh, again, why you might want to turn it off is if you're going to be going live with a week's worth of content where you have multiple video files that you're trying to go live with, it's nice to be able to turn this off because that way your news feed won't have you know, three to five posts, and then it confuses your audience of which one they're supposed to be tuning into. So one thing that you could do is turn it on for the first one and then turn it off for all the other ones going forward. Or what you could do is wait every single day, come in here, and then schedule the video that you want to go live so that then the they'll only ever see the one notification, right? So it all just depends on your publishing style and strategy on how you're wanting to do this. But for this example, we're just going to go ahead and leave it on. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a custom thumbnail. Uh, if you don't do that, then it might just choose a random picture from your Facebook, like whether it's your uh, wall picture or maybe what your profile picture is. The other challenges I, ha I have seen where people... Uh, it will just cut off their torso and that's what they post. And so I don't think that's what you're wanting. And it's always good to, if you can upload a custom thumbnail so that people can see what this will look like. What else is nice is this is a cool tool that allows you to rearrange and resize the image. So I can totally come in here and, and move this around to my liking. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and click schedule. It's going to move on to our next step, which is filling out the title and description. Um, anytime you go live, you have to do this, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out. Now that I filled out my title and description, I'm going to go ahead and click next. And this is the third step. Now, this is where we're going to add where we actually want to go live. We're just going to click in this bar where it says add destination. And the nice thing is, since we're going live to our profile, it's the top one. So we can go ahead and click that. Now here's what else is nice. We can go live to other places as well. So if you wanted to add a page, you could add a page. If you wanna add a group, you could add a group. And again, you can go live to multiple pages, things like that. For this example though, I'm only gonna choose my profile for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and click the next button. Now this is the fourth step. This is where are we gonna be uploading our video file from? Do we wanna upload it from our computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, or we have something called the incubator, which is any video that's already on the Live Pigeon servers. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click incubator, and then afterwards I'm gonna show you how you can add your video files to the incubator. So I go ahead and click on incubator, and I'm gonna scroll down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just click this video here that I've already uploaded. Success, your pigeon has been successfully scheduled. So check this out. I'm gonna scroll down here and you can actually see the video that we just scheduled here. It's gonna be going live to our profile page. It says that here. Um, it looks like it's gonna be going live in three days and 19 hours. And it looks like it's going to be departing at 10 a.m. If for some reason you notice that it didn't schedule correctly at the right time, or if you needed to make any changes, go ahead and click that pencil icon, make any changes that you need, okay? The other thing I wanted to point out is we have a blue box here indicating that it is Facebook. And if I click on this image here, it's actually going to take us over to Facebook. So now what I'm gonna do is scroll down and you can actually see here is the post that I just made that I'm planning on going live. And that's it. That is how easy it is to go live with a video. All I had to do is choose the time I wanted to go live. I filled out my title and my description. I chose where I wanted to go live and then I uploaded my video. So let's go back now to Live Pigeon and I wanted to show you the incubator. Uh, just to touch base on this, the incubator is your video library. 
This is if you wanted to upload two to, you know, three, four or five videos, however many videos that you need to schedule out for the week, you could upload in one time into this one area called the incubator. So I wanted to make sure you understood where this area is and how you can add your video files in here. You can drag and drop them. You can click add a video. Once they're in here, you can then choose that from that list on step four where I just showed you. And I cannot wait for you to jump in here and start uploading your videos into here as well. One other thing to point out, we have our phone number at the bottom of the page. We also have our email and we have this chat icon as well. We are here to be able to help support you. And the thing is, if you don't reach out to us, then we can't help you, right? It's very difficult. But we want to make sure that you understand how accessible we are. So send us a, an email, send us a chat message, right? We want to be able to answer any questions that you have. If this video that you're watching is on YouTube, leave a comment in down below if you have any additional questions so that we can then answer those. Uh, we've done everything we could to help you here inside this video. That is how how to go live to your Facebook profile. And again, my name is Brandon and until next time.